What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Hulk. He is finally in the item shop. He is a Marvel series outfit. He is part of the Hulk set. He does have two selectable styles. He also comes with a back thing called a Gamma Chamber. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Hulk. Now Hulk is the final Avengers from the original six that is introduced in Fortnite. Whenever all these Marvel skins started happening during chapter two, everybody wanted the Hulk skin just for them to complete the original Avengers. It took them some time, but Hulk is finally in the game. He does come with a selectable style called the Recruit Hulk, which I'm not 100% sure where he's from, but he does look very cool. The main difference is the shorts actually do change colors and then he does have like a scarf or a part of his shirt hanging from his neck and then he does have this thing on his arm. So what are my thoughts about him? The Incredible Hulk is a cool skin. They did make him a little bit shorter. I do think they're just because he was a little bit bulkier than most skins and you do know with the bulkier skins when they're a little bit taller, it does cover more of your ADS whenever you are aiming with your gun. So I think that's the reason they did it. The skin itself is cool for what it is. Hulk is an iconic outfit, a very amazing character. And I mean, I think they did an amazing job with the outfit. Now the back ring, the gamma chamber, it does charge up with more eliminations you do get so that's very cool so what's my final rating for hulk i'm gonna have to give hulk a 7 out of 10. now the second selectable style does help it a lot it does remind me of planet hulk not to that same extent but he does have a lot of similarities with that character also the reason why i'm giving it a 7 and not higher is because he is bulky he does block your ads when you are aiming downside the combo potentials are somewhat there but not really a lot of the back things do fit very tiny just because of his big structure he does have and that's the reason why he's getting a 7. Back then itself does fit a lot of really cool characters but again not enough for me to give him a high rating. Now if you are gonna get this outfit I would suggest you guys buy the bundle just cause for 300 V-Bucks more you do get the Hulk Smash emote in the Demolisher Harvesting Tool which is very cool cause it does utilize the sprays you do have in the game to actually paint the Harvesting Tool. So without further ado guys. Let's get these combos started. Now for our first combination, we're going to be going with Hulk with the default letter style and we are going to be pairing it up with the leg 209. Now this is a backlink that does come with the Robocop skin. The reason why I have this as a backlink is because Hulk is known for destroying stuff and just having a leg or a robotic leg on his back just fit really well with the character. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the crossroads. Now what I really do like about the crossroads again fits the whole thing of Hulk. It is basically just a sign that has been pulled out of the ground and you could see it just Hulk using it as a weapon in real life. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the retro sci-fi. Now the reason why going with the retro sci-fi is because it does go really well with the whole gamma radiation that the Incredible Hulk is known for. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the space pod. Now the space pod itself just goes really well with Hulk just because he does go into space and I could actually see him coming down to earth in one of these or at least riding it to get a ride to the planet earth. Then for the rebel, we're going to be going with the Meowster Mine. Now the Meowster Mine is a no brainer. It is green and matches really good with his uh, skin tone and that's the only reason why I'm using it. Now for our second combination with Hulk with the default letter style that we're going to be pairing it up with the Blaze Canister. Now the Blaze Canister itself does look like gamma radiation in a container so it matches really well. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the leg 209 but instead of a backlink this time it's a harvesting tool. The reason why it goes really well together is because again he could have just used this as a weapon whenever he did fight some robots. Then for the control we're going to be going with the Doom Drop. Now I do like the Doom Drop, it is from the Marvel series so it goes really well with the whole universe and it just looks like gallon radiation escaping his hands. Then for the glider we're going to be going with the glider. Now the default glider for this chapter just goes really well because the wingspan themselves are green and it just fits really well with the color scheme. Then for the ride we're going to be going with the green toy. Now the green toy itself is just green color scheme that fits really well especially because of the skin tone of Hulk. Then for our next combination we're going to be going with the Recruit Hulk and we're going to be pairing it up with the Jones Field Pack. Now for the Jones Field Pack we're going to be going with the Job 88 style just because it does have more of that ruckus look that goes really well with the pants he's wearing. Now you could also go with the Jump 42, it does have the similar um, like shading to the, the pants and then it does have the Rift Gun being purple that matches really good with the scarf he does have. Then for the Harvesting Tool, we're going to be going with the Storm Shielder Blades. Now we do like these Harvesting Tool, especially on the Hulk because it does look very vicious and it's something I could see him actually using. 
for the control we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence being very simplistic is just a wind control on both hands and feet which fits really well. Then for the glide we're going to be going with the Crashing Satellite. Now the Crashing Satellite itself is just a satellite that is crashing down to Earth and I could again see Hulk being in space, hitting the satellite and then riding that to Earth. Then for the wrap we're going to be going with the Mayhem. Now the Mayhem wrap itself just does have the very cool style shading that does give a beat up look to the guns and it goes really well with the Hulk. Now for our last combination with the Hulk with the Recruit edit style that we're going to be pairing it up with the Embolsen Buckler. Now this is just a shield on your back, the brown aesthetics from the shield itself matches really good with the shorts and it just looks like something he would use. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the Vanquisher. Now this harvesting tool was actually obtained in Season X. Uh, sadly enough if you didn't play during that season you won't be able to get it but the harvesting tool is huge and it just goes perfectly and it is designed really well with the Hulk. Then for the Contra we're going to be going with the Wrathful Breakout. Now I do like this Contra just because it does have chains that are invoked in flames which is green which goes really well together. Then for the Glide we're going to be going with the Salvage Shoot. Now the Salvage Shoot itself is just a parachute you are using. It matches perfectly just because of the aesthetics. Then for the wrap we're going to be going with the Stitched Up. Now the Stitched Up wrap itself does have green and brown which is perfectly with this combo. Now for the honorable mentions with either Hulk you do want to pair it up with anything that does have green. Anything that does have like this gamma look or brown or even purple is gonna fit really good with this Hulk. Now for the backlink, the Gamma Chamber. Now we're going to be pairing up the backlink with Rick Sanchez. Now again, Rick Sanchez was obtainable in a battle pass in chapter 2 of season 6. Now Rick Sanchez is a scientist, so having something to experiment with, mainly gamma radiation, this is just down his alley. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Starbolt. Now I do like the Starbolt just because it does have a similar green to that of the backlink. It goes really well together. You could replace it with the superhero harvesting tool that we do have in the game, but both of them fits really well. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the zip ribbons. I just like the simple aesthetics of the zip ribbon, especially because it's all white and black. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the invasion. Now similar to that of Rick Sanchez, the invasion glider was a victory umbrella you did obtain during chapter 2 of season 6. Now I do like it just because it does have this whole space theme and goes down his alley. And speaking about our space theme, we're going to be going for the wrap, the pulse face. Now the pulse face itself does have this metallic silver look to it that goes really well with the glider, the backing, and even the coat he is wearing. Now for our last combination with the gamma chamber, we're going to be pairing it up with the toxic trooper. Now with the Toxic Trooper you could go with either or of the edit styles but I'm going with the default just because it does have a green that matches the back one. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the P5000 Power Loader Arm. Now this harvesting tool is just down his alley especially because he could use it to actually open up stuff that come from space. Then for the Contra we're going to be going with the Doom Drop yet again. Now this Contra just fits really well especially because of the back name itself. Then for the glider there is a lot of things you could use but I'm going to be going with the Rocket Sign just because it does fit really well with the theme of space and the harvesting tool. And then for the wrap we're going to be going with the Neon Venom. Now the Neon Venom is a simple wrap you do obtain in the item shop for 300 V-Bucks. Now the reason why it works really well together is because it does have that glow on the underbelly of the weapon or vehicle which goes perfectly with the back wing. Now for the honorable mention with the Gamma Chamber you do want to pair it up with any outfit that does have green. Any outfit that is a scientist or does have green aesthetics or even silver is going to look really good with this back wing. Now those were the 4 combinations of Hulk and the 2 combinations I did find for the Gamma Chamber. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos so you pay cosmetic skins every single day. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, 2 D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the I'm shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any comments suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media in Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.